Hey there. So today we're going to talk about policies, standards, baselines, procedures, and guidelines. I've um, been dealing with a lot of this lately, so I thought this would be a good video to do this week. So what are policies, standards, baselines, guidelines, procedures? What is all that stuff? Well, uh, any organization, uh, well, pretty much any organization, uh, is going to take steps to protect their information assets, right? So how they're going to do that is generally written up and uh, defined in their information security policy. So a policy is just a high level statement from management about their intent, direction, or objectives, about how they're going to protect that information. Now, in uh, some smaller organizations, there's an information security policy and it's just one big document. But in lots of organizations, um, there's a high level information security policy. And from that then, there are different sub policies. You know, there'll be an acceptable use policy, a password protection policy, a remote work policy, uh, you know, a privacy policy, um, all sorts of different things, depending on what the organization needs that are going to sort of govern their approach to information security. So let's take an example. One of the uh, sub processes that an organization would have. Um, I think pretty much every organization is going to have some kind of a password policy, right? They're going to be giving you some guidance about what, what you should be doing with your passwords, how to do the passwords, that, that sort of stuff. So a password policy, for example, might say something like, um, you know, our organization protects access to information using strong authentication methods and uh, requires all employees to keep information, their information confidential and report any suspected breaches of access to a system uh, to management. You know, it's some sort of high level statement like that. And in a high level statement like that, it's not very specific about the technology or the processes or the management of it. It's just that high level statement of intent, right? In some organizations, that's it, right? It's literally a couple of sentences. But in larger organizations, they're going to have something more involved and larger, and it's going to include a bunch of other stuff. So, so that high level statement is the policy. And then from the policy comes a standard. And the standard is basically the, the practice or the execution of that policy in the organization. Um, continuing our password policy example, the uh, standard might be things like um, the length of the password, the complexity requirements for the password, the uh, minimum age or maximum age of the password. You know, things that are going to govern how that policy is, is being achieved by the organization. From the standard will come baselines. And, and baselines are just a further, um, a further part of the, I guess, standard, you would say, that, uh, that, that focus more on, on how that's technically being implemented. And when I've seen these, it's pretty much always been uh, technical configurations. So for example, there'll be a baseline for how Active Directory should be set up, right? What is the what is the password length? What is the password complexity requirements? You know, things like that that feed from the standard what the organization wants, right? All right, so then we have procedures. And procedures are actually the step-by-step -step instructions that someone would follow um, in order to achieve the uh, standard that's being applied. Right, so you know if you're you're changing your password in a computer, it would be the steps to to actually do that. If it's within an application, it'll tell you where to go in the application to how to do how to do that. And then guidelines, guidelines are basically um, good advice, right, or best practices. Um, following our example, you know, guidelines would be things like uh, statements that say, um, you know, don't use, don't incorporate personally identifiable information into your password, like your year of birth or your pet's names. You know, it'd be things like that that are not strict rules, so to speak, but, but general guidance about how you're going to achieve the policy, right? So that's how they break down. That's, that's all there is to it. Policies, very high level. Standards, you know, how we're going to start to implement the policy in the organization. The baseline, the, the technical configuration of the standard, and then the procedure, how it's actually done, right? So, yeah. I guess one of the things I should say about uh, about uh, this whole stuff, policies, procedures, guidelines, is that uh, I've described these as being very separate things, 
But in lots of organizations, uh, lots of organizations, the policy, the standard, and the baseline are kind of sometimes all mushed together into the same document. Sometimes all of these are all into the same document. It really, really depends on the organization. And it depends, you know, if they're following a specific security framework or if they're just doing something that they want to have guidance on or, or put their own go governance on. Um, depends on the organization. It's not really right or wrong necessarily, depending on the, the size and, and what they're trying to achieve. Uh, but it, this isn't... Uh, one, two, three, four. There are five separate documents normally, <laughs> right? It could could all be just one. It could be spread across a couple. It depends, but but don't think of it. It's just one. Here it is. This is one thing, right? It's because it's not. It's not always that. Alrighty. I hope that was entertaining or thoughtful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, by all means, send me a message. Let me know. Otherwise, have yourself a great weekend. Bye bye.